How's it going guys? My name's Jason from Minecraft People and today I'm here to show you guys some 1.3 content specifically the ender chest. Now like most chests it has the size and space of a regular chest but unlike most chests you cannot combine it to make a larger chest and this is because they are connected. Now I'll explain exactly how that works later. Now some key features are the fact that the ender chest produces light now, as you can see, it's a small amount of light, but it is light, more than any chest would normally do. But, as you can see, the glowstone, redstone lamps, uh, jack o lanterns things like that, produce much larger amounts of light. Now, the way these work is that when you put something in, like I'll put my golden pickaxe here, and let's say you have this in your house, and you travel far distance. You want to go on an adventure. Now you find yourself in a place where you have, you have no idea where you are and you can't find your house and you lost all your stuff and that sucks. But now in 1.3 with the ender chest, your stuff will never be lost because these are linked. And when they're linked, they have the same item inside of them. So the same way that there's a golden pickaxe here, there was a golden pickaxe there. Now the same way if I take out my golden pickaxe, the golden pickaxe will now not be in this. Now these chests are player specific, so I see a golden pickaxe because I put that in here. But somebody else can't come over to my chest and see my golden pickaxe. They will see whatever they put inside their ender chest. So if their ender chest has an eye of ender in it, they'll see an eye of ender while I see a golden pickaxe. So that's great because I can't take my stuff. It's a fantastic way of having kind of like a safe or some sort of way of keeping your items safe at all times anywhere you go. It's really great. Now. In order of the pickaxes and how they work, the wood is obviously slowest and diamond is fast, but the gold pickaxe is actually the fastest way to mine an ender chest. Now, once let me just change my game mode real quick. Now, the way this works is if you were to mine it, you will get, well, I have a lot of obsidian in my inventory at the moment, but you will get eight obsidian back. Now, the crafting recipe for another chest is 8 obsidian in the same way you place wood for a chest with a hollow center and one eye of ender in the middle. And there you got your ender chest. Now, you don't get your eye of ender when you mine it, which was something Jeb wanted to add to make it a little tougher because these are great things to own. But if you have a pickaxe with silk touch, as I do right now, and you mine it, you will just get the chest back and you can place that chest back just like you would any other item. So you don't need to worry about losing anything. But if you have an item in it, let's say my golden pickaxe, and you mine it, it will drop 8 obsidian. Now you might be asking, where is my golden pickaxe? Open up any ender chest ever again and your stuff is still there. So these are constantly linked even though they're broken. Even if you break one, always linked. Always have your stuff, and that's a really great thing coming from 1.3. Now, like every other thing made out of obsidian, you don't need to worry about it exploding or breaking with TNT. So let me just change my game mode here. And my friend Lefko will now demonstrate how the obsidian in this works. Take it away. Another cool feature in 1.3 is TNT, unlike in the current version, will shoot you up. Thanks for watching guys. This has been Jason from Minecraft People and hope you enjoyed our Ender Chest Spotlight.